Hi, how's it going? Rob Daniels here, video content creator on behalf of Toronto Entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm going to give you the latest on what, uh, if well, if you're a business owner, what you should be thinking about for this week of March the 8th. So we'll get right to it, shall we? It begins with the Canadian economy. It is seeing the worst year on record in 2020. Yes, the Canadian economy posting its worst showing on record in 2020 as the COVID-19 pandemic swept across the country, uh, shutting down businesses and putting millions out of work. Statistics Canada says real gross domestic product shrank 5.4% in 2020, the steepest annual decline since comparable data was first recorded in 1961. Now, the drop of the year was due to the shutdown of large swaths of the economy in March and April during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic that crushed the economy. Since then, economic uh, activity has slowly and steadily grown. Statistics Canada says the economy grew at an annualized rate of 9.6% in the fourth quarter of last year, down from an annualized growth rate of 40.6% in the third quarter. That was higher than expected with financial data firm uh, Refinitiv's average economist est estimate at 7.5%. Now, in terms of Canada extending three COVID-19 supports for businesses until June. Got the latest for you on that. The Canadian uh, federal government announcing Wednesday of last week that it will extend multiple critical COVID-19 emergency benefits aimed at helping businesses throughout the pandemic. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy and the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy Canada, as well as the lockdown supports programs, will maintain their current rates until June 5th of 2021. Now, the extension means the maximum wage subsidy rate for employees still on payroll will remain at 75%. For the rent subsidy program, the rate will remain at 65%. The lockdown support program will remain at 15%. And uh, Ottawa has paid out more than $66 billion in wage subsidies and $1.6 billion in rent subsidies, according to official data. Nanos. Well, they surveyed uh, 507 downtown workers, including 385 people that work in offices. And uh, it found that 64% of all those people surveyed feel comfortable with the prospect of working at their downtown places of employment right now, even as the pandemic continues to drag on. Nearly 7 out of 10 downtown office workers say they would feel comfortable returning to their workplaces and with the COVID-19 pandemic, a new survey has found. And this survey was conducted between January 29th and February 5th and predates the recent rise in cases in some jurisdictions. So with that being said, what is your take on going back to the office. How does your organization take safety uh, precautions? Feel free to share with us in the comments section below on this Facebook Live video. That'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Women Business Enterprises Canada Council, WBE, is proud to launch Canadian Women Brand, a logo that will play an important role in the recovery uh, and growth of Canadian women entrepreneurs. A logo that identifies that a product uh, that a product or service is made or offered by a Canadian women-owned business. So this is definitely some great news, especially for the week that uh, International uh, Women's Day falls on on, uh, on Monday, March the 8th. So some, some good news right there. And uh, Canada's women-owned businesses need your support. And, uh, and this is where WBE, Canada's Canadian Women Brand logo, steps in. Uh, when you buy a product with this logo on it or give an opportunity to a women-owned business with the logo on their website, you are directly contributing to the growth of women-owned businesses in Canada. You are a champion and you are certainly making a difference. Um, from personal shopping and gift baskets, uh, gift baskets or an event uh, memento to larger contracts and inclusion uh, in your company's supply chain, there is so much you could 
you could do. So look for the Canadian Women brand logo uh, next time you have to make a purchase or making a decision on your RFP. There are signs emerging uh, due uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic that university students would rather make their mark in the workforce than attend virtual classes. Yeah, with youth unemployment rates hovering just shy of 20% near the highest level of the pandemic, some students are taking matters into their own hands by following the entrepreneurship path rather than focusing exclusively on their studies. Typically during recessions, enrollment in universities increase as students look to improve their skills to gain better paying jobs. In an emailed statement to BNN, a spokesperson from the University of Toronto in Ontario said they saw a 1% increase in enrollments, but also 225 more deferrals than in 2019. Similarly, a spokesperson from Wilfrid Laurier University in Ontario said the, the, said the school saw a 4% increase in student deferrals year over year for the 2020 fall semester. Shireen Kamisa, uh, who is the founder of Careers by Design, uh, a career coaching agency, said young adults entering the workforce through the entrepreneurship route can be considered a positive for the job market because they are creating jobs for themselves and others in a tough economic environment. Canadians, Canadians sitting on $100 billion in excess cash, CIBC's TAL. Uh, Canadians who curtailed their spending over the past year as the pandemic raged on could be sitting on as much as $100 billion. Benjamin Tal, Deputy Chief Economist at CIBC World Markets, Inc., said that the current situation is unlike the 2008 crisis when savings accounts uh, continued to grow even after the recession was over due to avoid financial risk. The lockdown has created a pent-up demand among consumers, particularly with higher-income Canadians, he added. Uh, once given the green light to go out and spend again, Tal expects that Canadians' cash hoards will be unleashed very quickly, providing a boost to the ailing services sector. That influx of unused cash heading back into Canada's economy could yield strong growth for the country's gross domestic product, to the tune of about 7% on an annualized basis, according to Tal. We have some top candidates that torontojobs.ca is representing, and uh, as well as uh, Toronto entrepreneurs. So um, the top candidates that Toronto entrepreneurs uh, are representing are a staff accountant, five plus years of experience in Toronto. Number two would be a bilingual financial analyst, five plus years experience also in the Toronto area. Number three, a paralegal, 10 plus years in personal injury law located in North York. Now, if you're interested in any of these candidates, please email sales at torontojobs.ca. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we have some upcoming virtual events presented by torontojobs.ca. Now, they are a, uh, a TO Tech virtual hiring event happening Wednesday, March the 10th. That's this week, so uh, on Wednesday between 2 to 4 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. Staffing firm owns uh, owner's conference Thursday, March the 11th, 2 to 4 in the afternoon. And uh, Toronto Entrepreneurs Conference, Thursday, March the 25th, and that's between 2 and 4 in the afternoon as well, Eastern Standard Time. Visit torontojobs.ca slash news for more information on all our virtual events, and you can check out our news, uh, our new events website at eventlogic.ca. Also, that's logic with a K.ca. Sponsorship and exhibitor options are also available. Now, uh, you can always check out our Toronto Entrepreneurs Conference and Trade Show YouTube channel for videos on how you can grow your business. And feel free to uh, follow us on all our torontoentrepreneurs.ca social media. We are connected on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And uh, perhaps you're looking to hire staff. You know that we can connect you with our sister division, torontojobs.ca. Email sales at torontojobs.ca if you're in need of any staffing assistance. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Rob Daniels, video content creator on behalf of Toronto Entrepreneurs. I hope you have a great week. I will talk to you next time. Thanks for joining me.